A media presentation of the Axis Plus Racing Team was held at Mango Tree in BGC Tagig on February 28. Racing Brothers TJ and Troy Alberto will once again compete in the 2020 FIM Asia Road Racing Championship or the ARRC. The two are top Filipino runners who have been in the international racing scene for years now. For the second year, TJ Alberto is participating in the ARRC ASB 1000 class on a Ducati Panigale V4R. His teammate for this year is Italian racer Federico Sandi. Backup runner is two-time PSBK champ Raniel Resuelio. Uh, so, so as with everything, the second time is always easier. This will be my second time with Access Plus Racing in the ASB 1000 Championship. So I'm really excited because um, in my years of racing, I've done quite a lot of national and international racing. However, I've never been able to do a repeat year. Um, even when I raced the Philippine Superbike, I had one learning year in the expert category and then I had to move on to something else. Same with the European Superstock and also the Italian Championship. I've only ever done one year. The first year is always difficult because the first year we spent it for learning the track, learning the bike, learning how to work with the team. I'm really excited and really happy this year to be again with Access Plus Racing in the ASB 1000 Championship. It will be for me a lot easier that I've already seen all these tracks again. Um, it's gonna be a good year because we're gonna be working off a good basis from last season. Troy Alberto, after remarkable performances in the 2019 Asia Talent Cup and Thai Talent Cup, is now joining the ARRC Super Sport 600 class using a Honda CBR 600 RR. So, of course, um, we are happy and excited because uh, Troy will be joining the SS600. So coming from the NSF250, it's a big step for Troy and uh, we're just happy that he will start to uh, compete more on uh, the ARRC. In terms of expectations, this is the first year of Troy and uh, since uh, having that said, there are many things to uh, consider, uh, many things to improve, but uh, first we're confident that our uh, Filipino rider uh, can do better in the SS600. So last year, I raced the whole year in the Thailand Talent Cup. Um, for the last two years, I've been riding a 250cc bike. So the first steps I've made for this year is just to try and acclimatize myself to riding a bigger, heavier 600cc bike. Um, for my goals, um, for my expectation, I just want to first try not to override myself. I want to go get through the whole season healthy and uh, just make my progress throughout the whole year. Um, for the start, I just want to be competing with the other riders and I hope that towards the end of the season, I'll be battling with the other Honda guys, try to be top Honda. So for this year, I'll be riding a Honda CBR600. So last year, I rode a 250 and a few years before that, I rode a 1000. So it's interesting, I'm trying to mold both of my riding styles to fit this current bike. And uh, so far, it's been really fun. It's been a good learning experience and uh, I am ready to finally bring it to the track and to the races. In attendance at the presentation were Access Plus Racing SB1000 and SS600 team members and sponsors. Access Plus Racing is sponsored by Okada Manila, Essenza, Ayla, Olens Philippines, Shell, Standard Insurance, and MacBet Apparel with Ducati Philippines for the team's entry in the ASB 1000 and Honda Philippines for the SS600 class. TJ and Troy are also sponsored by Moto World. A successful racing team for over a decade now, Axis Plus Racing has been a breeding ground for international level talent.